What is up babes and welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell, I am behind in some housework. I mean, my living room is a mess and I understand that, you know, the kids are out. So there's going to be a little bit more mess than usual. And I haven't had the opportunity to clean it up yet or even to make them come in here and say, hey, go straighten up real quick. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to straighten up this living room because I want to watch a movie. I want to come in here, kick my feet up. Maybe drink a glass of wine and watch me a good show or movie. Whatever comes first. I don't know. But <laughs> I want to get this mess clean. So I'm going to be doing a little mopping, as you guys saw, a little vacuum cleaning. Um, I need to dust this couch off because it has crumbs on it. You guys, I, don't, I didn't even show you guys, but I don't know if you can tell in the video. But it was crumbs and stuff everywhere. So let's get started. We can Okay, so it's time to move some of my decor around because I don't want it to come up broken while I'm trying to wipe down the tables or whatever. And yeah, it's a fork. It's always something. I'm always showing you guys something that I find in my living room, right? To survive, we're not the ones who hide. sidetracked I start turning the cushions around on the couch and fluffing them and pulling the couch from the wall and you know it's okay if your couch touch your wall to touch but you know we got to pull that out a little bit anyway um I forgot to remove you know my decor pieces off that table and then I found cords and everything over here so I'm like okay let me get that out the way first and now we're gonna go ahead and just vacuum clean this couch um, I'm probably going to end up switching the cushions around. I don't know. Who knows? lost my balance trying to get a piece of paper and I almost fell. So, uh, I don't know what to say. Let's continue. <laughs> so let's talk about this stain. Mm -hmm, that stain right there. I know you guys see it every time I clean my couches. I go in and I wipe it down and it dries and it's not there anymore, right? But as soon as I lift the couch back up, it's there. I don't know if it's moisture or what it is, but it's always on my couch. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good side. Okay, so right here, I'm just straightening up the back of my couches. I have a couple of cords. I guess the kids must have had them in here when they were on their iPads and, and their computers. So I'm pulling those from under the couch now. And then I'm just going to vacuum clean this side and then put the cushions, well, the cushions back, whatever. <laughs> I got a little tongue tangle. Anyway, if you guys hear a noise in the background, that is my husband. He is out in the garage tinkering with something. And the, what is that called? The air machine? What What is that thing called? Air machine? No, it's not an air machine. It's an air compressor. That's what it is. <laughs> it's an air compressor. So you guys can hear it. Well, if I can hear it, I don't know if you guys can. So that's what you hear in the background. And my mother. I know I mentioned this in a previous video. I absolutely love this. Absolutely. First, 
A plus for me is that it is emerald green, my birth color. And second is that it has two blades, so less the work. You know, if I could, I would buy two, and I should buy two though, you know. But I will have one in the other hand, and I'll be gone. I'm literally, I mean, shaving couches is a job. My arms be hurting. I'm surprised that they still look the way they look because I'm always shaving my couch. But anyway, look at that. Look at all that lint in that compartment. So if this happens, if you guys happen to go buy one of these or you already have it and you're like, why does it keep cutting off on me? So it's like a little filter in the inside of it. And then the lint, if it's too much in it, it will cut off on you. It will shut off. It's like, I'm not doing any more until you get all this lint out of me. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, do the rest of the couch. We're gonna go through this very quickly because this takes some time. Guys, I literally had to turn my camera off and let it charge for a while because my son did not have it charging. I'm like, really, what were you doing? But anyway, um, I'm just gonna vacuum clean this floor real quick because if, if you can tell, I poured the lint out on the floor. So we gotta get that up and the rest of the garbage. And yeah, so. We're gonna be moving on. Okay, so yeah, she's just sitting over there. Everybody's sitting over there just watching me clean. What is it? I don't know. Anyway, you guys see that sock up under there? I see it. I'm just not gonna get it right now. Or I might call one of them in here to get it. I don't know yet. But we're done on this side, so let me move this chair and this table over to the side because we got a vacuum clean and I was looking at the floor and I'm like, no, you need to mop. So we're mopping the floor. So the reason why I have my little cute sandals on is because I was doing a little challenge in the house. And I, I think I mentioned this to you guys before that we're trying to get rid of a lot of things in the home. You know, we're trying to downsize a little bit, you know. So we're trying to put something in the bin. Like right now I'm looking at the bin sitting in the dining room and it's almost climbing the walls. Like, good job. You know, everyone has put something in the giveaway box. So great. And I'm walking around in these shoes because I bought these shoes two years ago from Macy's and I never wore them. So I'm walking around in the house with them. So I'm trying to get the feeling. Do I want to keep them? Are they comfortable? Are they pretty? Can I style them with something that I actually like? You know, when I'm just making those mom runs or, you know, just run into the store real quick for myself. So yeah, I can, you know, put me a nice little button up. Is it button up? I don't know some shorts and a tank top on and just go for what I know. And yes, they are comfortable. So now that I've figured that out, they're staying with me. But I do need some mop shoes. Or is it mop slippers? I don't know. But next video, we may have some. I'm truly thinking about putting a carpet in here. Now, the carpet that I want, it's a ruggable. And it only goes up to, I believe, tell me if I'm wrong, a 9 by 12 and I think I need one a little bit bigger in here. And I know you guys are probably saying, oh, Megan, it looks small. Just put a, no, mm -mm, no, 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 no. We're not putting a small rug in here. You know, we're going to put something that at least covers, goes up under the chairs and everything. You, you guys see me, I'm just charging my um, shavers here. But <clears throat> I need something just a little bit bigger. And I know I made the living room smaller by cutting it off and making it cozy. I still love it the way it is. I do not plan on changing it anytime soon. I love it. Maybe until Christmas, you know. 
we got to put our trees and stuff in it. I don't know. It might stay the same way because I absolutely love it this way. But let's get the rest of this um, cleaned up. I just have to vacuum clean, wipe down the TV, of course the TV stands, and those shelves. Those shelves are dusty, honey. I haven't dusted. I'm going to be honest. I have not dusted those shelves in about a week. So we're going to get that done now. camera position this way because my kids asked me not to put them on the camera again I don't know what they're back there doing in the kitchen but you know I do respect their privacy Gabby she gets in front of the camera all the time but it's some days she's like mom can I come in the living room and can you not shoot or or whatever and I tell her well just go in your room because let me finish up doing what I'm doing and then you can come on in the living room and just chill out you know but it's just some days she has her days and I don't mind it to see my children or my daughter bouncing around in the camera but that's just what she's doing when I'm cleaning up she does it even if the camera is not on so you will see her and you may see my nepote which is my nephew running around in the camera all the time my two boys they don't care for it especially my middle son it's like mm -mm, no no thank you mom do not put me on a camera now sometimes he know there's no other choice because he popped in on it but anyway um I took my tree out if you guys are looking at my planter down there I took the tree out so my plan is to buy another tree but I'm trying to shop around to see what I want to buy in here first and right now the kids s'mores are in there because shy the dog keeps messing with them so we don't want him to get into any chocolate but yeah that's what's in that white bag and the planter he's crazy <laughs> yes he has a problem when it comes to chocolate he will go in the pantry and i think i mentioned this in i don't know last year sometime that he will go in the pantry and eat chocolate and I, like I said before, I called the vet and the vet is like, oh, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. I hope so because I have no time for this. But anyway, got to love him. He's been so good this week. I just have to mention that he's been a good doggy this week. <laughs> so back to the s'mores part. It's 100 degrees right now in Texas. And the kids want to go in the backyard later on this evening. Maybe it might drop. It might drop this evening because I think we're going to get thunderstorms again. But they want to have a bonfire when dad gets home. So he's home now. So it's time for a bonfire. And we have s'mores. And I know what Shy the dog is going to do. He's going to be out there wagging his tail expecting us to give him a graham cracker, a s'more, or a, a piece of chocolate. And it's not happening. He can get a blueberry. That's what he's going to get, a blueberry. He absolutely adores those. Um, so we, what we normally do, and in the fall, is that we start our first bonfire in the summer, and we go out there, and we tell scary stories, and the kids get all hyper and everything, while me and my husband just sit back and look at them with our glass of wine. So <laughs> it's awesome, especially in the fall, especially in the fall. But anyway, let's get back to this video. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts but they can even touch us with found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame We own the game
different time, yeah, we're of a different breed Cause what we got is timeless, we still proceed And we're holding the key, yeah, we're tight as can be We're rolling, we're rolling, just like we please Ooh, getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts, ooh But we're golden, we run to the end and we run without shame we own the game And we ride on the flames till the moonlight Baby, cause we're dynamite Ain't nobody gonna hold us down We call the rules, let them run and hide Baby, cause we're dynamite Gonna let the world know We're So I'm getting out here to thank you all for showing my channel some love and I would like to give a thanks to all my new subscribers and welcome them. Uh, yeah, it's going to be plenty of more cleaning motivations and mom life and, and hauls on here and decorating and much more <laughs> to come. So thank you all. Love you. For you, I'll be there for you Cause when we are together I know you feel the tension Just let me in your head So I can be there for you, there for you The night is young Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep The night is young Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep The night is young Won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me Till we fall asleep The night is young Won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me We do it on repeat it for tonight it is 808 and I'm just gonna fold the rest of these clothes and watch some Sam and Dean with my son because he's pestering me about it but anyway until next time I love you bye